Hi y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, I just launched my kayak here in the state of Ohio. I am back on another road trip adventure, this time up to Sandusky Bay, which is in the northern part of the state up on Lake Erie. And this place is known as a world-class channel cat fishery. You heard that right. Yep, my regular audience, you know how bad I hate them danged old channel cats. But I need some today and I need some this weekend because I'm going to be fishing a big tournament up here. This tournament has a huge payout, $7,000 in sponsor money before any entry fees are added to the pot. So I want my share of that and to get it, by gosh, I got to catch me some of them dang old channels. And this place, it's one of, if not the top fishery in the country. If you like catching channel cats, this is probably channel cat heaven. If you're somebody like me that don't like them, well, it's probably channel cat hell, but either way, there's some big ones in here and a lot of them, and I gotta figure out a plan of how I'm gonna get them on tournament day. So I'm gonna bring y'all with me, show you the process, how I go through eliminating water, figure out a plan, and then uh, this weekend, hopefully, gonna get it done out here. So anyway, I've launched my kayak at a place called Clemens Boat Ramp. This boat ramp puts you basically between these two bridges and that seems to be kind of a spot where a lot of big channels are caught so i'm going to go out here today to see what i can find explore come with me y'all let's go get some dang old channel cats for bait today i've got some chicken breast that i have cut up in chunks now when i'm fishing back home on the tennessee river for trophy class blues and flatheads i don't typically like using chicken or other grocery store type baits because well you get a lot of small fish and a lot of channel cats with them but since i'm up here on sandusky bay and i'm trying to catch channel cats today i thought chicken breasts would be a great bait to start with so i'm going to fish here at this bridge you can maybe see behind me this is where I'm gonna start out at and I'll show you here on the map let me let me open up my map card a little bit Sandusky Bay is a very shallow area but around these bridges you have some deeper water some deeper cuts here and it kind of creates like little funnel areas where fish going through each side kind of have to work through here so I'm gonna just uh, try a few of these places this morning even if I'm getting bit I'm probably still gonna move you know just to try to try to get a feel try to hit as many different types of spots out here as I can but we're gonna start here at this bridge and see what happened oh y'all right here right here I got one right here y'all it's on see what we got here i'm gonna hit my motor thing here and keep myself going forward i sat here at this bridge and i had lines cast out on bottom wasn't doing any good so i just got on the move i'm dragging two baits on bottom and i've got another one that's about six foot or so under a balloon behind me yeah that's a nice channel cat right there folks on the chicken got him on the move trying to keep my speed here about a half a mile an hour what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna troll from this bridge back here straight across over to this one kind of in this deeper cut here well this one's mad at it ain't it he's a mad one and get me five like this on tournament day i might have a chance the tournament's going to score our five longest catfish it'll be probably all channel catfish on people's scores there's no blues in here and i don't know about flatheads but just mainly channel cats come on up here channel cat well let's hold him up there y'all that's a what i'd call fun size on a catfish back home this is probably my personal best channel cat right here he's mad he's trying to tail slap you right there on the camera let's get him out oh them damn channel cats hate me as bad as I hate them. But that was probably my new PB. I don't really keep up with that on, uh, you know, channel cats and stuff like that. But that was a pretty good one. And this is uh, a fishery that's got a ton of fish that size and far bigger than that. So anyway, I'm gonna get me another piece of chicken breast, put on my hook here. I'll show you my my dragging the dragging rig that I'm using anyway when I get this back out. But I'm just gonna keep moving half a mile an hour or so just cover some water anchor down or spot locked with baits on bottom right there at the bridge just, i sat there 20 minutes or so 30 minutes maybe no action at all so we'll just get on the move and see if we can run into a few i'm gonna run this hook through the 
piece of chicken breast here. I've just got a smaller chunk of it. My line, that's a 10 aught size Mustad Demon circle hook. I've got that tied on my main line with just a dropper rig. Basically got a Kentucky rig here. But on the bottom of the Kentucky rig, I've got my dragon sinkers. So I'm gonna put that out behind the kayak here. I'm not running it real far behind me, but just give it a little toss. We'll let out some line as I move along. Again, I got two rods that are dragging and I've got another bait, another piece of chicken under a balloon about six foot down as I move along here. Just trying to, trying to cover some some different depths of the water column. I'll show you why. Let me set that in the rod holder for a second here. This is a good example right here as we're going by them. All these fish up here on the screen, I have no idea what those are, but they're up higher in the water column. So uh, as we move along, if some of those happen to be channel cats or if those are a bait fish and channel cats are up possibly feeding on those, well, then I've got a piece of chicken right there in that depth that they're at there that they can come up and get so anyway we'll uh finish letting out some line on this keep on the move and hopefully run into some that's even bigger than what we just got i've got one on this side now this rod's going down it's another one of my dragging rigs balloon rod still hasn't been messed with yet but might as well have it out there just for options you know like to do some live scoping but these fish that are up in the water column have no interest in my jig i i tried a little bit of it but they ain't having it. i don't know what they are this channel cat here ain't having it either apparently he's wound up i think these fish just got a bad attitude because they they kind of like second class citizens in the catfish world they don't get the respect that a blue cat or a flathead, they got their loyalists. People light me up in the videos all the time because I hate on them. They just don't get big back home. Not like, not like up here, you know. I think the blues and flatheads just kind of outcompete them back home so they stay small. But up here, they're a thriving, I guess, I, I, I guess up here, this is probably the apex predator of this body of water. I would assume, I don't know that for certain. I'm not familiar enough with Lake Erie to know, but I would assume they're probably the the king of this, of this body of water. Come on in, channel cat. I had to get him up under the gill. I hate doing that. Dang thing wouldn't open his mouth, man. These, these channel cats, they hate me, man. They've heard all the bad stuff I've said about them. They, they hate me. They hate my guts. They ain't happy about me being up here. All right, Channel Cat. Enjoy your front camera time. Don't happen often that a Channel Cat gets front camera time on my channel, does it? Unlucky for him, he's got the sun behind him. He's got a shadow on him. Get out of here, that old thing. Poor Channel Cat. They finally get their moment of fame. They might get three or four extra Instagram followers. And the lighting out here is terrible today. It's real hazy. I don't know what's going on. Real hazy day, but that fish, if he wasn't a channel cat, I'd feel bad for him. <laughs> well, let's put us another piece of chicken breast on. This is just plain chicken breast. Ain't no Kool-Aid, no garlic powder, none of that other stuff that people doctor their baits with. I ain't done any of that. I just picked me up some chicken there at the Walmart when I got into town. Got up here, you know, Sandusky up here. I'm going to fish a couple days for the term. There's a, a boat tournament on Saturday, and then we're having our tournament on Sunday. So this place is going to be hit hard between now and then. Right there, there's just a drum right there. Heck, we might find us some cut bait just floating along the lake here. <laughs> I think we got another one working this rod right here. Let's pick up on it. We sure do. Another one on. Yeah, it feels like another decent one. I 
I'm just continuing to troll along here. I'm literally between the two bridges. Right now, I'm 21 feet deep. And just trolling through here. I don't know if this cut that goes through, I, I assume it's man-made. I don't know that to be certain. But it's significantly deeper than the surrounding water. And so, you know me, I like to fish the deepest structure when I go somewhere new and this is kind of the place that it's leaped out on, on a map. Listen, here's a little bit smaller than the last one, but I bet he's full of wee-wee and vinegar nonetheless. Getting these dang channel cats to behave on a measuring board for a tournament is going to be a chore. <laughs> Apparently these birds over here are laughing at me. Dang old birds. These, I mean, between the birds and the fish, you'd think that they'd, they'd be happy I'm here. I'm bringing some attention to these fish that don't normally get any attention on my channel. And they ain't the least bit grateful, are they? Come on in here, fish. Got that hook in the jaw. Got my sinker down there. If you want to learn how to make them dragon sinkers, y'all, I make these. I got a link down in my video description to show you how to make them. Very simple to do, very cheap, a lot cheaper than anything you'll find in the in the catfishing market. I can't get this dang hook out. If I quit flapping my gums and pull on the hook, there we go. Channel, you ain't big enough to get you any front camera time. Let's hold you out like that. You actually better in the light like that than you are the camera going the other way. Well, all right, y'all, that's fish number three. Again, nothing while I was sitting. He got my glasses all wet. That's what them birds over there is laughing at. The fact that my face got water all over. But uh, yeah, nothing while I was sitting there, spot locked with baits just sitting on bottom. But since we got on the move, that's three pretty quick. Well, we may get us another one here, y'all. Yeah, he's on there. I'd whip. Well, looking behind me, <laughs> I ain't went too far. It felt like I'd been going longer than that. But I'm just kind of moving real slow. I'm keeping my speed under half a mile an hour. Just working up through here. Get up here to this other bridge. I'll probably make a decision. If I want to make another pass through here, or maybe I want to work along these, these power poles down through here. It's got these concrete bases. And I'd imagine there's probably some bait fish probably around the concrete on them things I'd say. So maybe some cats cruise along the edges too. I may, I may make a pass down through there today as well. With the way the wind's blowing, it's kind of blowing into my face as I move along. It may be tough to work them then power lines like that with it blowing. It'd be blowing sideways, but you know what I mean. We may try it. If nothing else, I may just get over there with a live scope and take a look. This old channel cat right there, buddy. You ain't gonna help me on tournament day, fish. Old channel cat. Danged old channel cats. That's the size right there I got back at home. I didn't have to drive to Ohio to, to catch him. <laughs> Well, let's get us another chunk of chicken here. I, I got my last piece still out here on the board. I'm just gonna cut a cut a piece of it here. And again, I ain't doctoring this up at all. I'm just putting it on the hook as is. Run it through the meat there and let it drag behind me as we make our way along. Very simple, easy way to fish effective way to fish especially a new body of water like this where I'm, I'm you know totally in the blind up here other than just some navionics study could come out here and cover water and you know got my graph on as i move along and that kind of just kind of just you know lets me see with the live scoop i can see what's in front of me i can shine that thing around see what's around me so if there's anything in this bay like a rock pile or you know some piece of some piece of structure down there that may hold fish 
I can kind of look for it as I move along and discover water and try to try to run into some fish. So anyway, y'all, that's what I'm doing out here, just uh, making the most of it, but getting getting some bites, getting rewarded, and that's what you want to do. You go somewhere new, you want to get some bites. Nobody wants to drive eight hours and get skunked, right? <laughs> Reel in another one, why don't we? All right, now come on up here, you old channel cat. Seems like the farther I've gotten away from the bridge, the less frequently the bites have come. But could just be my imagination, too. But we'll get a look at the size quality of this one. Get him up here, he's wanting to. He's wanting to stay down. He don't want to look at you no more than you want to look at him. That's another small one right there. Seems like the bites are getting fewer and the quality has went down too as we moved up a little shallower here. 16 feet, not a lot shallower, but compared to where we were. Tell him hi and bye, Channel Cat. That and his ornery right there. He wanted a chunk of my fingers what he wanted doggone fish here i am stopped off at the walmart got them some high quality cheapest chicken i could get but either way better quality than the chicken they're getting down there on the bottom of this lake and that thing wanted a chunk of my finger you can't please these channel cats it's just another reason why i hate them <laughs> i'm gonna put another piece of chicken on there i will say this about using chicken it is nice when you roll into roll into town like this, you know, long ways from home, new body of water, don't really have a good plan on on getting bait, you know, immediately once getting here. It's nice to just be able to stop by the store, get a pack of chicken, and be able to come out and catch some fish. It is nice, but I am gonna try to find me some bait either this afternoon or tomorrow uh, i'll probably get make sure i got some options on tournament day i don't really know what all is up here i know i've seen some drum floating by as i've made our way along so there's definitely some drum here but i've brought my ultralight rod with me on this trip i've got my cast net with me as well so uh, i'm gonna make sure i've got some some variety of bait on tournament day but probably just rock the chicken out here uh, for now today. We've got some bad weather that's supposed to come in later on this afternoon. So we to get some storms and some rain. So I want to make the most of my time out here uh, on the water this morning and try to really work this area. And then, uh, you know, try to maybe go tomorrow and, and at least spend part of the day working on catching some bait. Oh, I had one working it. Yeah, I think he's got it. My gosh, he does. I don't know. Finally got this left rod hit again. I ain't got nothing under that balloon though. Not a tap, peck, anything. So I assume whatever those fish are that are higher up in the water column, they must not be cats. Because we're getting bit enough here on, on bottom to know that these, these cats are at least into the chicken. So you would think if they were up higher, they'd be all over that bait under the balloon. This one here's a dark one, buddy. I gotta look at his tail. Look at that one. Boy, this one here's an ugly old thing. Even his mama thinks he's ugly. And his mama's a nice lady. I've met her. Real sweet lady, but she thinks that's the ugliest catfish she ever gave birth to. Here's this old ugly thing. Look at that head on him there. He got a chunk out of his chin. Another on his nose up there. Ugly old thing. These, some people have said these fish are either on the nest or getting ready to go on the nest up here. Let's get him out of here before he goes crazy. I don't know their normal spawn routine up here. Back home, uh, uh, this tournament here, it's happening mid-June. Back home, our fish are on the nest. But, you know, water temps up here cooler than they are back home. So I don't know what the normal normal time period is up here. But if they ain't on the nest now, it's probably coming soon. But still getting several fish, you know, just for, you can see hopefully there behind me as the train goes by. 
and this distance that I've covered with basically two rods dragging bottom again the other one that's under the balloon ain't done diddly poo for us but that's several fish and a relatively short stretch now got one after this rod right here I, I'm going to check it I think he's on there yeah he is on there I knew he was after it he got, got the bait and the hook he wanted the bait he said he could have done without the hook He'll probably tell me about it when he gets up here too. These channel cats got a lot of attitude. A lot of attitude for their size. They're like them little baney roosters. Walk around with their chest all puffed out. But they still just a baney rooster, you know? <laughs> Come on up here, channel cat. He's a digging buddy. There he goes. Gonna pull a little drag. He's trying. He's a trying. Come on over here, you caught now. You caught. This one ain't as ugly as his friend from a little while ago. He's still ugly, but not as ugly. This one here, he's probably been to the to the glamour shots at the mall. Y'all remember them glamour shots? Them women back in the 80s with the big hair? They used to go in there and get all makeup done and everything, get them goofy pictures. I guarantee you, some of you fellas out there, your wives are watching with you right now on this video. And they, they, they trying to not be embarrassed about the fact they went to glamour shots back in the day. <laughs> some of you might even still have them glamour shot pictures hanging on your wall. What about you fish? You got yours hanging on your wall down there? Embarrassed, plum embarrassed there. Them fish are proud of glamour shots. They proud of it. They even, that fish was so offended, they've left the chicken still on the hook. We may get a, we may get another fish off this. I'm gonna rehook it, send it right back out. We got a rebate on that one. Colonel Sanders would be proud. Back out it goes. Another one, another one right here. That was pulling a little bit. Oh boy, he's pulling. That's a pulling right there, man. That one took off hard. Yeah, folks, there's been quite a bit of action coming up through here. I'm Right now, I'm 15 feet deep. But just kind of working this, working this channel between these two bridges. and I don't know how many fish I've got so far, but it's been, been several for no farther a distance than this is between these two bridges i'm not really following any set path i'm just kind of kind of in that channel I, I, i've used my heading feature there on the trolling motor just to keep me going this way against the wind and i'm just kicked back enjoying the day waiting on these fish and this one here says he couldn't wait no more. He's been waiting to get on this video for years, he said. Years he's wanting to get on video and get some attention. And today's his day. There's a lot of times in my regular videos, channel cats get plum edited out. But not today. This is all about them channel kitties today. Yes, and here's a decent one, buddy. That's a decent one right there. We'll tire him out a second here. He'll come in here all upset with me. He ate that, he ate that recycled bait right there and it looks like we might get it back. Hell, we might get a third fish on that piece of chicken. Colonel Sanders is rolling over in his grave at the thought of that. <laughs> come on in, kitty. Nice, nice channel right there. Let me hold another one up here, give it some front camera time. He don't know how to act. I've made this fish his whole month right here, giving him front camera time on the kayak catfish channel. He's gonna act out because he don't know how to act. I tell you to act like somebody, but with these fish not having blues up here, they don't know what somebody should act like. All right, hey, this man, that chicken's seen better days. 
but I'm gonna send it back out as is. <laughs> we'll see if we can we'll see if we can get another one on it. From my experience catching channel cats back home, I ain't never known them to be picky about a bait. It seems like they'll eat pretty much anything. They tear up my jigs when I'm using the gulp minnows, ultralight fishing. They shred my pieces of cut bait to pieces. I catch them. Well, I'm carp fishing, I catch them on plastic corn, you know. I ain't never known channels to be picky. Now, I have no doubts that probably the bigger channels in here probably key in on certain forage species, certain types of baits. Uh, at certain times of year and I don't know what those are going to be probably do better right now if I had some you know some natural forage species a shad drum you know something that they're already eating but the chicken is getting us some bites getting us some decent quality fish so uh, we're making it count out here we catching some channel cats on the Sandusky Bay people Oh, oh, we got a little something going on here. Oh, he's got it now. He got it now for sure. Let's reel this one in, y'all. So what I've done, I've I got up here above these bridges, and there is quite a bit of current flow going through here. Uh, surprising amount. Uh, so I've just spot logged here, and I've cast my baits back toward these bridge pilings. And... You know, you can have three rods up here. So I've got, I took the balloon off my other rig there. I've got all three rods on bottom, just kind of around these bridge pilings. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna let this current work for me. I scanned around with the live scope and saw some fish down there. Now I have no idea what they are. They could be cats, carp, drum, you know, who knows. But there's quite a few fish around these bridge pilings, so. We'll, uh, I'm going to sit here a little while, see what I get, see if I get any more cats, see if I get, you know, any better quality. This one right here, you know, obviously, he's got a long ways to go before he, oh, well, he ain't got far to go before he gets back in the water, does he? <laughs> I tell you, fish was ready to get out of here. But, uh, yeah, you know, you can probably see here behind me, I, you know, I brought my net today. I ain't used that thing one time. I thought with these old channels being smaller, I'd bring my carp net, you know, but uh, I ain't used the daggone thing all, all morning. But anyway, this current's going this direction through the bridge here, so I've cast a bait out toward those pilings. I've got another one here, and I had another one uh, that that fish ate over here. So um, just going to sit here a while, just see what happens. You know, I started out first thing fishing the, the railroad bridge down there, spot locked with baits cast out, didn't get anything. Is when I got on the move that I got on the, the action there. So we'll give this a little time and if it don't pan out, I'll get back to moving again. Right there goes with some more cut bait floating by. I tell you, man, I've probably seen 30 plus fish out here just floating today. Drum, uh, catfish, I mean, they just, Let's go floating by you at random. I don't know what's happened. I'm going to turn the camera on. I got a fish on here. This one was trying to sneak, the, sneak away with the bait. Didn't want me to even know he was hooked. My rod had got hit. Now he's going to take off. And I just went, just had slack in my line. What I'm doing now, I let the current kind of push me back between these bridge pilings i just cast out two lines and i'm dragging just letting the current push me back the anchor bite up there above the bridge just didn't didn't pan out where i was setting just one small channel we got something on right here another decent one right here yeah nice 15 feet of water the current's moving about a half a mile an hour down through here which is perfect drifting speed in my opinion and so i'm just going to let it push me back just kind of at random through here and see if i run into some fish i'd kind of hope to work those power lines over there and i may spend a little time on them when i get back down there to where they're at but with the current moving through here i don't think i'm going to be able to troll kind of perpendicular to the current 
I think the current's going to make it hard for me to do that right now. So we'll just let it work to our advantage here as my phone continues to blow up. That's probably Kayak Mike blowing up my phone right now. He's the one that runs the trail and has accumulated all the sponsor money for the tournament this weekend. $7,000. First place is probably going to end up with somewhere between four and 5,000. So it's going to be a nice payday for somebody. I hope it's me. <laughs> Here's this old ugly thing. Boys channel, look at the head on that thing, man. Look like some daggone Haley. And you, and you gotta, he's got a split down his head too. Almost looks like butt cheeks on top of his head. <laughs> we all call you butt face, you old channel cat. <laughs> he wasn't happy about that, was he? You don't call a channel cat butt face. <laughs> so I've pulled up radar here. That's what's gonna be coming in here this afternoon. Looks pretty rough. So I think what I'm gonna do Let's go ahead, reel up my lines, and head back to the launch. And I think I'm going to try to work on getting some bait over there. Maybe throw the cast net around the boat ramp, see if there's any shad over there, and then plan on hitting it again tomorrow after the rain moves out. I think tomorrow, mid-morning on, is looking pretty good. So anyway, y'all, it has been a pretty productive day out here. I caught several fish, got a few decent quality channel cats there, and... Uh, you know, just kind of work this deeper trench between the bridges. And I think tomorrow I'll probably try hitting some shallower water areas and see what's going on there. I definitely want to, I didn't get to it today, but I definitely want to hit those concrete bases there around the power poles and probably work down through there uh, uh, along the train trestles there too. So look there, there comes another daggone floating fish, man. These drum, I bet you I've seen at least 30 drum out here and catfish just floating along today man they got a hard life out here in sandusky bay but anyway y'all it's been fun hope y'all have enjoyed watching me catch some channel cats somewhere in hell there's some snow falling right now it's starting to freeze over down there but anyway i'll see y'all next time thanks for watching y'all hang on a second here for those of you who've stuck around to the end we may be about to get a bonus fish. I got my other line reeled up. This one's swimming on me. It is. He's on there. I look back and this one was slack. And sure as the world, it's got fish on it, man. We got another one trying to sneak off with it here. Moving down with the current this direction hasn't been as productive as what I was doing going into the current and into the wind when I got out here. But it has produced some fish and that one right there is trying to jump up out of the water, man. He's wanting to show you all some tricks. The three of you who's stuck around to the end to see a bonus fish here, this fish has got some tricks for you. Come up here, fish. You're the last one of the video. It's a prestigious honor. You threw that bait off and that's okay. You can have it. I was gonna toss it anyway. Well, there you go, folks. There's your bonus fish. He didn't want to stick around. These fish, he thought he bit because he thought the video was over. Joke's on him. We got him anyway. All right, y'all. I'm going for real this time.